Futurologist Kelowna tour vlog I'm driving to Kelowna to meet my buddy PJ Okanagan Lake Hi Wave I don't know what's with this guy's shirts It's kind of strange, huh? Hey, what's up? I met up with this guy Digital log. We were reunited, uh, finally, and that's pretty cool. We're in person. We're gonna go to the, check out the, the show very quickly. Hey, cool guys. We're here, PJ's here, and we're they're just setting up everything. So this is your behind the scenes look of, of the, the Retrologist at Comic-Con. See, cool, cool, cool guys. This is the upper view. I'm already setting up. There's a pretty cool guy. And that's all I got to show you. Bye. Vlog, uh, Retrologist. Here's the sexiest dude in the world. I, he's cool. He's the sweetest guy, you know. That was a post, though. People have commented on my shirt, which is always nice. Comment on people's shirts. That's my advice to you. We're sound checking with the band. Yeah, we are. This is Canyon. Oh! What's up? What's up? What's what up? is going on? This is Canyon. He doesn't have a nickname. No. Nope. We're gonna have one by the end of the day. We're gonna look at the band's gear. Cause it's always cool. It's always cool when like you play like a gig and like the band brings every guitar they own. That's always cool. And what's what's really cool about bands is when they bring their own fans. Seeing the set list. Here's the set list, everyone. Coach Izzy, Hiker Brown, Hell yeah. Fuel. They're gonna get. Oh my god, they're gonna play. If this plant, if this band plays Fuel, give me fire, give me Jabba Dabba Zabba, I'm gonna flip my shit. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll vlog it. I'll vlog it. This is the guitar player in its natural habitat. Carefully tuning his instrument before the show. Um, as seasoned comic conners, as they're called, con artists, yeah. con artists, yeah. uh, it's important that you have. <laughs> Good morning, this is uh, day one of the actual Comic-Con. Uh, PJ is too busy to pay attention to me right now, so I'm just kind of messing around. Uh, I've coined a new term today. Uh, I call it guerrilla marketing. Uh, without permission of anybody, I've added our posters everywhere I can possibly go, including including on their their sign-up table that they haven't set up yet so i'll give you guys an update later as to whether or not that's still there yo pj for the vlog what is the th what are the things you hope to accomplish today serious okay. real things i hope to accomplish networking making good friends building long-term relationships and um, being an overall cool guy is there any getting naked in there? I can't speak on behalf of that. Check back later on in the blog.
Hey, Danny, what's up? What's up? Just a guy and his pucks. Yep, those are his pucks. I was a big Marvel fan growing up, and when I got a chance to like meet one of my Marvel heroes, and then to have him look at all of us like build some all just storytellers, it's such a cool experience. Like. I if you're not doing it and it's what you want to do, I can't stress enough how badly you should just do it if that's where your heart takes you. Like, the experiences I've had are so overwhelmingly cool, I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. All right, I'm doing porn. We uh, just did a, we just hosted um, Ascalon Academy, who yep. play with the rapiers, rapiers. Yep. War Warlock? No. Murdoch, Murdoch and, and James. James. That was fun. Fencing, and we just had Michael Coleman on. Fencing was crazy fun. And, and that was a lot of fun. That was really cool. I learned how to fence. The better you know your partners, because in this, in this is this is very much about partnership, right? Stabbing each other, hitting each other, gently, feedback. That was too hard. What have What have we done since our last vlog? We went to Wendy's. We went to Wendy's. Twice. We went to Wendy's. Yeah, We've been to night Wendy's night. twice so far this trip. I got tendies. I'm a tendies. Uh, Arby's was closed, so. Um, well, the inside was closed, the, the drive-through, but uh, okay. Apparently the inside was inhospitable for staff, so we sure. didn't go to Arby's. I was so close to like, like saying, saying like, she loses any more fluff, she's gonna be nude. Closing of the con. Closing of the con. Closing of the con. Yeah. Vlog. What did we do since the last vlog? We did uh, Jorge Vargas. Jorge Vargas, we did a Q&A with he Jorge. Was awesome. Jorge was amazing. Jorge. Um, Vargas. He He's a Power amazing. Ranger. He's a Power Ranger, guys. He's and he Ranger. was, I saw your eyes light up when I said, uh, Viper. He Viper. <laughs> was and he was very, like, responsive to the question, which I really liked. Yes. Yeah, he was awesome. So we, so we Q&A Jorge Vargas. I think he truly enjoyed himself. That was great. I think he had a good time. Yeah. I think we made a new friend. And then we hosted the cosplay contest. Yes. Wait, which was, was anything bonkers. Before that? Was there anything before nope, that was it. Yeah, yeah. The cosplay contest, which was bonkers. Yeah. We were on point. We were making lots of quips. Yep. And, uh, you said that person's name wrong. Said the person's name wrong. And on she purpose. Was not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. That, that, there was probably like two hundred people. That's a video. Yeah. yeah. That's Comic Con Day One. Complete. This is Day Two of the Comic Con Day. It's just starting. Got our booth there. Well, we don't mind all you can eat. Well, what's going on here, bud? This is PJ. We got stuff going on. This is PJ. PJ! This is Matt. Hello, hello. And this is the Comic-Con vlog, day two. Now I'm equally as tall. Day two begins. Uh, what's on the agenda for today? I don't know. Cool. It's gonna be we, we. We, are you with me? Are we with me? <laughs> All right, listen, Alpha. It's not the time to play games, okay? We need this soon, okay? We need this, we need, what's it called? We need this Vegas order, okay? You should have known that. Sorry, Alpha. Sorry, we need this Vegas order, okay? We're getting our butts kicked out there, okay? We hear Alpha 5 on the other side of the communicator. He goes, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, all right, I'm dispatching the Zords to your location. And the Zords are summoned from their places of slumber. They arrive at the Angel Grove Mall and begin the transformation. You guys all jump inside and are all sharing control of the command uh, controls. Now stand as the Megazord against the massive Goldar. 
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you've enjoyed the show. With us, and thank you very much to the high dancers and everybody right now in a costume. Come on up. Thank you to you guys. So give yourselves a round of applause. Thank nice. you. Thank you, everyone. Nice. We also cannot thank our wonderful volunteers enough for their help this weekend. You guys did an amazing job of helping our guests and attendees. We kept ev you guys kept everything running smoothly. We are so grateful to each and every one of you being here and hope that you'll join us again next year. Yeah, volunteers, thanks. Absolutely, volunteers. Yeah. Uh, we want to thank the, the great Michael Coleman for not only being a wonderful guest this weekend, but also for his generous donation of outfits from the Once Upon a Time set. Uh, a little biased here, but uh, we also want to thank Wentworth Music <laughs> for all of their work in setting up the sound systems for the venue this weekend. The sound guys this weekend uh, was a gentleman by the name of Cole, uh, Canyon. He took care of Friday night, the band that was performing, as well as all day yesterday. And we have Matt taking care of the uh, board today, so all your sound, making us look good. Uh, special thanks to those guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we want to thank Hype Dance Studio for putting together all these wonderful performances and for taking on the role of co-MC for the weekend. I don't know if you know, that's this guy. This is, this is the guy. Mark was awesome. Yes. Yes. Uh, you guys are amazingly talented and we can't recommend... Oh. Dancing. <laughs> we can't recommend, recommend that. Can't re oh, I don't have it. Oh, you didn't take the photo of it? I didn't think. Oh, no, it's not on there, to be honest. It says we can't recommend. We can't recommend them enough. They are wonderful. <laughs> they are incredibly talented. They make me feel like I want to dance, and I think that might be all that That's matters. It. And look, it actually just says, and we can't recommend. That's uh, <laughs> it's literally being cut off on the papers. We also want to chan uh, thank... Um, Rose Masquerade. Did I say that right? Rose Masquerade. Oh my goodness, I got a message from my friend Jeff that said my um, my br brisket is ready. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, our cosplay coordinator for all your help in planning and running this convention. We could not have asked for a better coordinator. That is very true. Your personality and jokes were a delight in every meeting. Your work ethic is beyond compare. Jeff, I get it. My brisket's ready. Quiet. Uh, we cannot thank you enough. There was a lot of exclamation marks in that one, so live it up. That's good. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the two guys next to me have been incredible throughout the weekend. Can we have a massive round of applause for PJ and Danny, the retroologists? It says you. here, your witty jokes. True. Hilarious banter. Questionable. Infectious what? Or oh, personalities. Just checking. Typo. <laughs> uh, we could not have asked for better people to help us out, so can we have a massive round of applause for PJ and Danny? Thank you. Thank but, you. Uh, this was definitely re written before the con, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you in Colorado Comic Con 2023. <laughs> Is it rolling? Are we yeah, rolling? Yeah, we literally haven't done a vlog all day because we've been so goddamn busy. Dude, we did some fun stuff. We, what did we do this morning? We did fencing again. You got to use a broadsword. I got to use a broadsword. Um, then what did we do? Um, then we did that Q&A with Sabine Bauer. Yes. Sabine Bauer. Sabine Bauer. And Jorge. Jorge. They talked about Stargate, they talked about writing books, they talked about acting, we asked questions, Yeah. they gave answers. Good Who's relationship writer, actor, relationship conversations. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Sabine looked like, like, literally looked like Marg. Yeah. If you know who Marg is, you gotta watch her London Aunt. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then Jorge was just a jam all day. Oh, Jorge is the best. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then, then, uh, Michael, Michael Coleman. Coleman. We interviewed Michael Coleman, and we got photo, not photo bomb, what's it called? Guest bomb. We got guest bombed by Jet Klein, who plays uh, Tommy Maximoff in the MCU. Quicksilver. So we literally interviewed an MCU guy. We totally did. Yeah. We interviewed an MCU guy. It's pretty, it's pretty. He was awesome. We asked him how cool it was to work with Sam Raimi. Yep. 
Great question. I unfortunately asked him how, how it was to sing a Danny Elfman song, yep. and he definitely didn't take that well. But then we kind of you kind of came through and you talked him through it, yeah. and you were like, "Look, man, like you're gonna you're gonna talk about this for the rest of your life." That's right. And, and I think he kind of got it. I think I think he appreciated the fact that like Danny Elfman. That's right. Did it like apparently apparently um, apparently. Danny Elfman sent Sam Raimi a text voice message of the song, and the kids had to sing it off of that. That's amazing. So that's fun fact. If you were fun here, fact. you would have known that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, after that was oh yes, the board game. The board game. Well, not a board game. D and D. I did D and D. That was super fun. How did you feel about watching me do that? It was pretty funny. It was, was a little it? long. It was. It was. Lo- it was a longer. It could have went way longer. Yeah, but basically, the the D and D guy. Unfortunately, I forget his name. Uh, I'll put it up on the comment, on the, the, the text. It's right here. It's right here. Right there. $100 says it shows up there. Yeah. Uh, he, he ran a Power Rangers themed D&D with PJ, Jorge Vargas, his son Sebastian, who was out of his mind. He was super funny. He, he was like, he reminded me of Mags. Yeah. He's just like, where do you get all this wit from? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, and then a gentleman named... I forget his name, sadly. Right. But he was super funny as well. He was really funny. Yeah. That was hilarious. You were funny. That was just hilarious. Great improv. That was Before really we forget, it was the Fuchsia Ranger, who was Fuchsia. the custodial staff. That was me, yeah. Jorge was the Camo Ranger, who doesn't like to fight. He was pacifist. He just liked to hide. Uh, Sebastian the Kid was the Salmon Ranger. Yeah. And then the, uh, beige. the other guy was Beige. Beige yeah. Ranger. That was ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. That was a lot of fun. That ended, and then we did uh, our big thank yous just now. Um, thanking everybody, and people seem to like what we did. Yep, yep. We got thanked. Yep. We didn't even have to thank ourselves. Nope. Uh, and then, yeah, yeah. That was. Now we're tearing down. We're tearing down the con. Absolutely. This might be the last vlog. You know what's actually funny? Um, Michael, we took a we took a photo of you, me, Michael Coleman, and Jet all together. He gave me his phone number to send him that fo- that photo, and we got it wrong by one l- number. And that photo went to somebody. Just in, in the aether. So mm-hmm. I wrote to them saying, hey, congrats on this photo that's out of context. Have fun. So some random person got that photo. And that's how you roll with us. That we do. This weekend was a goddamn blast. It was insane. It was good we vlogged it. Yeah. We vlogged this. I have fun with you. I had fun with you. We do cool stuff. Yep. We had Wendy's twice. This last one? Well, it could be the last one. Yeah. You'll probably do something on the drive home, probably. You never know.